Jorhat has two uh, early voters here. Let's get Gaurav Gogoi. He's been one of the early birds here. Gaurav, you've just uh, exercised your vote here. How does it really feel? You've had this entire phase of campaigning. You've been campaigning. In fact, your wife has also been campaigning with you. How does it feel that this entire process has now come to an end? Well, right now I feel very excited as a voter. You know, India is the world's biggest democracy and it's the country which uh, votes through EVM machines and not through ballot papers as in other more, uh, I mean, in other democratic countries. So to take part in this huge exercise is a matter of pride and honor. And I, and I really am right now feeling grateful for the efforts of uh, uh, lakhs of uh, teachers and government officials who've made this entire exercise possible. And uh, me and along with lack of other voters are exercising our democratic right. Thanks to them so I feel it's uh, great this is the first time the voters are also getting a, a photo uh, voter ID card that's another matter of pride and dignity for a lot of our uh, voters so I think uh, that's that's the sense that I'm getting right now. How do you now. look at this entire debate about national issues versus local issues Assam versus rest of the country there's also this talk about you know uh, figures like Narendra Modi also campaigning here how do you see these two equations playing out? See unfortunately this election has no, uh, not been been uh, uh, fought on issues, there's been uh, fought on personalities and uh, uh, we are here in, in our state are trying to keep it on issues, trying to focus on uh, issues such as uh, water and young people and unemployment and edu education and I think that's why uh, people are appreciating our message that it's a positive message, it's a solution oriented message and it's a message that affects the daily lives of uh, our uh, three crore voters. Uh, so I think uh, going forward uh, more and more people will really realize that you know they're tired of these personal attacks and name calling and mudslinging I myself on during this election campaign have faced uh, uh, personal attacks and I just see that you know people are tired of, uh, of uh, certain media or just certain uh, uh, individuals just uh, taking the personal route they want a substantive election okay uh, your father is the chief minister of the state just recently in the assembly elections the Congress did really well you think the same momentum the Congress will be able to take forward in Assam as well? Absolutely. The, the assembly elections were fought in 2011 and since then we had panchayat elections in 2012. We, uh, we really, our roots within Assam deepened as, and then we had uh, the Guwahati Municipal uh, Council elections in 2013 as well. So uh, where we again, uh, the, our, uh, we did in, we came out with an incredible result. So that's going, you're going to see that in the Lok Sabha elections as well. Uh, I always maintain that uh, Assam is a Congress bastion, is a Congress fortress, and you will see the fo fortress uh, strengthening in the Lok Sabha elections. No specific tie-ups as such. You have had, uh, you know, multi-cornered contests. There's BJP that's really re-emerged here in, in Assam as well. There's um, AGP as well as other parties like AUDF as well. You think the multi-cornered contest will make uh, this entire equation very complex? Uh, see, as of now, I've been focusing on my election campaign in my own, uh, in my own area, in my own constituency. If, uh, so uh, on 16th of May, we'll realize that, you know, if there were other, the other three parties that uh, you mentioned, if they had any significant presence or not. Uh, as of now, we are focusing on, our, on delivering our promises, identifying our solutions to the local issues. Just a quick question to your wife as well. How was your experience? You've also campaigned here for your husband. Uh, what's been the response? How do you look at the Indian electorate? It's been a fantastic experience. I mean, the, to be part of this like massive democracy.